Thursday afternoon. I'm heading over to my aunt's house, but I see this hard case on the sidewalk, and I'm like, whoa, cool. I don't really need a hard case thing, but it's actually like, seems like a decent hard case. So I couldn't just pass it up. Maybe I'll throw it out later, but I don't know. Anyways, went to Fran's house, pet her dog, Alfie. You know what? He's alright. Uh, we made french fries, and Fran made a quiche. It was good. And then uh, Fran wanted some help doing crime. So I was like, you know, I'm always down for crimes. Especially victimless crime. You know, it's pretty easy. All I gotta do is uh, throw this trash into the Shoppers Drug Mart dumpster. It's the fuzz! <laughs> He's us at the beer store, uh, <laughs> dropping off some empties. Okay, it's the end of the month. So here's the monthly spending report. Last week we're at $1,368. So let's start off with burrito lunch, chicken lunch, groceries, and then groceries again, sushi lunch, $35 haircut, C&E ticket, uh, USB key, everything, food out, that red pepper I bought, the humble spooky bundle, $30 at Shoppers Drug Mart, $62 for the bike light, $10 for a can of fish and dim sum. They're like roughly $5 each. So that's one thousand six hundred eighty-five dollars this month of regular spending but I also bought a plane ticket for WestJet for three hundred and forty-five dollars and a Air Canada ticket for two hundred and seventy-eight dollars then a hundred and twenty dollars for the G1 brings us to two thousand four hundred twenty-eight dollars for this month total spending all right, so I just did the rough addition of my spending and like sort of an outline of like the budget that I want to have. So I spent $83 on cleaning supplies and hygiene stuff, which I feel like is a little bit high this month because, well, I bought paper towel, Razor blades, Comet, scrub pads, uh, 10 bars of soap. Normally I don't buy that much cleaning supplies. It's just like weirdly timed that everything sort of ran out around the same time. So I want to bump that down to $50 a month because I'm still kind of low on dish soap and laundry soap. And who knows, I'm probably going to need some other weird shit. And then I spent $197 on groceries, which I'm just going to round to $200. And I feel like that's an appropriate amount. And I spent $75 on just stuff that I didn't really need. But I guess for whatever reason, I just wanted it. So I included things like the C&E ticket, uh, this file set. Um, I don't think I brought the this projector this month, but this is the kind of shit that I'm like, oh, that's cool, I just want that. Uh, alright, then $93 on daily travel. This is kind of high because I bought that headlamp for $62, but that's still pretty good considering like if I was one of those people that just bought a metro pass every month that's like hundred and thirty dollars just for a metro pass so I bumped it down a little bit to sixty dollars a month because 
you know, my bike probably needs to go into the shop. Like, I haven't taken it in for months just because I've been, like, cleaning it regularly on my own. But it's been running fine. But things like the brake pads get worn down, and that's a pain to replace. So I like taking it in for that. Okay, $54 for general entertainment stuff. Uh, this was stuff like going to the movies, my Xbox subscription, buying a game. And I'm just going to leave that at $50 because, yeah, why not? And then here's uh, $795 for my rent. Which is like, what are you going to do? That's how much that is. And then $287 for eating food out. This is clearly my most, like, unneeded expense. But at the same time, it's like, well, fuck it, you know? Uh, a lot of times when I hang out with people, we go and eat out somewhere. So... I'm not going to drop it a lot, a lot, but I'm going to try to keep it to 200 next month. And $40 for my phone plan. And then, okay, so this is in regards to the airplane ticket. Um, I'm going on a vacation next month, and that's probably going to cost about two grand, including those uh, airplane tickets. And since I went on a road trip vacation thing in, I think it was March, this is going to be the second trip. So I feel like two vacation things a year. So that two grand divided by six for six months roughly means $335. So when you add up all of that, my monthly expense would be one thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars except I also forgot the one hundred and twenty or er, yeah one hundred twenty for the G1 so yeah it's more like nineteen thirty five so basically um like two thousand a month is my like current expenses now, I could drop my, like, food out to nothing and just don't eat out and then just add 60-ish dollars to my grocery bill because that's, like, that's basically that 287, that was, like, 15 meals. So kind of expensive for 15 meals when I could make 15 meals at home for, like, $60. So... If I wanted to live off of Uber, I would need to make about $2,000 a month. So that's about like $2,000 for 20 days of work, which would be $100 a day, which is not impossible. Working about three or four hours a day on Uber, I can make... 50 or 60 dollars it would be difficult on me to do that every day for eight hours a day to make that 100 dollar goal however if i was going to do uber i don't think i would be saving for trips and eating out would definitely only be the 60 dollar option or like I wouldn't eat out at all, and I would just add $60 to my grocery bill. However, I would probably increase my travel to, like, 100 maybe 120 And I wouldn't buy random things. And as far as, like, entertainment costs, well, let's be honest here. I'm probably going to buy some shit that I don't need. So $50 for entertainment, like, movie, games, that sort of stuff, that makes sense to me. Hmm. So when I remove some of the more unnecessary expenses, 
it comes to more like 1,295. That's a pretty terrible five, sorry. So divide that by 20, you get 64.75, which is not unreasonable, I feel. Like I could do this and I have done this already in a single day in the middle of winter. But I don't think I could do Uber forever. As much fun as it is, it's like, I've already strained my knee a little bit from pedaling too hard. I'm just pedaling too hard. <laughs> I'm like, my knee sort of hurts now. And it's uh, been sort of a, it, it comes up every now and again while I am biking. So, yeah. Working at Legend, it's not terrible, but it's, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, let's, um, I collected all this numbers and I'm not really even sure why I wanted to do that. Like figuring out this is living off of Uber, like, a a decent option. Probably, like, it could work, but I wouldn't be saving any money at this rate. Whereas Legend, uh, I'd make enough money to cover this. But even then, it, I f like, how much, I guess I do save, like, mm, I want to say, like, 40% of my paycheck. Which, if you're good at math, you can probably figure out how much I just, how much I make a month. Which, like, fuck it. Like, after being taxed by, <laughs> like, after income tax, it is roughly, like, $20 an hour. So in a month like this month, I actually only worked about 100 hours. So, yeah, I basically made two grand this month. Whereas a month where they want 10 hour days, five days a week, maybe six days a week, it's easier to make closer to four grand. But I hate doing that because then I don't do anything but work and sleep. <sighs> it's a rough balance. Lately it's been good though. <laughs> 